All right, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. Get in here, get in here. Everybody get in here. We gotta get into some things, okay? Uh, we got a couple things we're gonna talk about today. Now, uh, first on our list is Monique and Sir Sydney, AKA Daddy. All right, so the thing is, Monique is kind of going viral right now because she went on and did an interview and she explained why she calls her husband daddy. Now, in my opinion, I was a little grossed out. I was a little uncomfortable, okay, at why she calls him daddy. I don't know if this is an old Southern thing. Now, I'm seeing mixed reviews in the comments. I'm personally a little uncomfortable. I'm going to let you guys hear what she said, and you guys let me know what you thought. Because he's raising me. Okay. And a lot of black women would say, why do you call him daddy? Mm. Because he's raising me. He's raising me. My father probably stopped giving me what I needed when I. He's raising me is crazy. And then she's finna go on. Let, let me go back. That's correct. Like, and then she went into her father stopped giving her what he's giving. So this is like you sleeping with your dad. Like, so this is like a daddy, like. Just let me, let, I'm gonna let it finish. I'm gonna let it finish. But I'm really weirded out. And a lot of black women would say, why do you call him daddy? Because he's raising me. Mm -hmm. He's raising me. My father probably stopped giving me what I needed when I was around 13 years old. So now you got a woman that's 13 and now I'm 35. And now I got a bunch of money. What we consider to be a bunch of money. Let me just speak real clear about that, okay? Now I got this money. Now I'm taking care of everybody. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna make me grow up? But when that man, when we were just best friends and when we got together, this is what he said to me. He said, when we were best friends and you were married to other men, you were not my responsibility. You were my sister, but not my responsibility. As my wife, you are my responsibility. How did you feel about that? Because then it even got more weirder to the end because then it was like, you know, when you are married to other men, you are my sister, not my responsibility. So it went from being her being your sister, you being her brother, to now you being her baby or her daughter, his daughter, and he being your daddy. I don't know. Sometimes I think Monique gets too deep for her own self. And just because she's talking slow and soft and kind of getting in, like, you know how people can talk like very prolific and, and you try to go with like, oh, okay, that was deep. Okay. That really made a lot, a lot of sense. That didn't make sense. That actually made me feel very uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like Monique has a way of talking with this kind of old kind of, you know, church gospel hymn, you know, and uh, Maya Angelou type of, you know, Southern woman just really can talk to you like that auntie, grandmother, mom, and you just like, you know what, that made a lot of sense. That wasn't one of these times. You're not about to convince me that that makes sense. Because now it's like you married this man because he is now taking the place of your father, but like you're sleeping with this man. And so for me, you're telling me that you're looking at this man as a father figure, but then you're also sexually attracted to this man. And he's raising you. That's so triggering. That's so weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Monique is being raised by her husband. Like, it's one thing to say, like, okay, he taught me. Maybe he is raising you in a certain way. But... To throw in there, your dad stopped giving you enough, giving you what you wanted when you were 13, so you went and married a man that gave you, I guess, whatever you felt like your father didn't give you, and then you made him your daddy and your husband? I guess. I don't know. That's a little different. That's a little different for me. Um, I'm curious to know what you guys think about that in the comments. I was a little weirded out by that because I don't want nobody to ever call me daddy again. I don't want to call nobody daddy because I don't, I don't like that. And you know, cause one thing you can be like daddy, like on some sexy, like, you know, that's daddy, whatever that, you know, but not daddy. Cause my daddy didn't do for me. And you raising me like I'm your child. 
No, I want to kind of feel like that's daddy because you giving me, showing me you and you the boss. You know what? We get in pop. It's more of a sexy daddy. It's more like you know, show me something, but it's not giving like daddy. Like, <laughs> did I do good today, daddy? Like, raise me and like I'm a cat, little school girl, and you know that's getting kinky. And that's fine if that's what you're into, but like to live my life every day looking at a man that I'm laying with and thinking, this is the father that I never had. And then he's also fucking me. It's crazy. Um, so you all let me know what you guys think in the comments below with that one. All right. So we got another thing that we got to get into too. Um, Black China. Apparently, Black China is on her last few thousand. Okay, um, you know, she right now she's in a custody battle with Tiger right now, and she's trying to get more money. Okay, and so now all of her her financial tea is just all in pub, made public records. Okay, so Black China's financial records show that she only has eleven thousand dollars in her bank account, one her savings, and claims that she only makes thirty two thousand dollars a month. Only thirty two thousand a month. Let me tell you something. I know what a lot, what a lot of people can do with thirty two thousand dollars a month. Maybe it's not much for her. But child, that's much for for us regular folk, okay? I know some I know some people that'd be real happy with thirty two thousand dollars a month. I know some niggas that don't even make thirty two thousand dollars a year. No shade. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. Black China is currently in custody in a custody battle with her son's father, Tiger. Not only is China asking for full custody, she also wants child support from the rapper. Due to this, she's had to reveal her financial information to the courts, and those records are now released to the public. According to the documents obtained by Radar Online, Black China has earned around $71,000 in September, but typically makes around $32,000 a month. The records reveal she had only $11,000 in her savings. A property she owns is reportedly worth $1.5 million. As for her mortgage, China pays $22,000 a month for her home. She must pay $1,885 for the principal on top of $17,000 in interest. Property tax come to about $3,000. China spends $8,000 on healthcare expenses, $5,000 on child care, $1,400 on utilities, $850 on cell phones. I'm thinking, what? What cell phones she got? How many phones you got? She also spends $3,800 a month on groceries and $1,529 on eating out. Her monthly laundry and cleaning expenses come to about $3,200, while she spends $2,500 on clothing and, other, and another $2,000 on entertainment and vacations. Auto expenses put her back $1,896, while her savings are at $271 a month. Her largest monthly expense is her credit card and another loan. She pays $24,000 for her loan and American Express card. I don't know what to make of that. That, that was just kind of a lot. Um, oh, okay, so without all of those bills, $32,000 is a lot. But when you got all that kind of overhead, you ain't got no money. $22,000 a month for the mortgage is already five k. Like, oh, my head is already here. She ain't got no money. She not making no money. She needs to bring it back. She needs to bring it back. She needs to bring it back. But see, if it's but this is her this is her test in her faith. This is her really believing in, the, in 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 God right now. You really have to test your faith. This is the time that you really have to test your faith because the devil will do this. He will show you. Look at when you what you had when you had the baphomet. Now that you have removed the baphomet, we have removed the finances, and so it would make her feel like you know what I need to go back to OnlyFans. I need to go back and sell putty. I need to go back and, 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 and re-tattoo the Baphomet. See, it'll start to make you feel like, why did I give my life to Christ? Why did I not stay on the other side? My thing is this, though. I don't know if she's really hiding the money or I don't know if she really not making no money or this is just, you know, a way to, for her to try to trick the court system. Because, you know, a lot of people... They be moving money around because they know that this stuff got to come out. And I think that she doesn't mind being embarrassed like that. Look, think I'm broke. He, this nigga needs to lose. So perhaps she's just doing what she has to do to win this uh, judgment. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments 
below about this entire situation, all right? And until next time, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.